Here's another very important question, one that many of you have also been asking us on social media. Is China reporting the right numbers? America and China are playing a rather ugly blame game at the moment. The Trump administration is demanding transparency from Beijing. They want China to report the right numbers and disclose what they know. When the coronavirus spread across Wuhan in China, Beijing was accused of downplaying the number of victims. Now a fresh claim has added to the stir. It's a tweet. And it's on your screens now. A Chinese activist has shared the China Mobile, which is a telecom giant in China. The tweet says the China Mobile lost more than 8 million users in the months of January and February. Where did these people go? China Mobile, by the way, is the largest telecom company in China. It is owned by the government. Losing more than 8 million customers is unprecedented. Netizens tracking the story have a theory. They say economic numbers from Beijing cannot be trusted, so they track data like mobile users, data like electrical consumptions to make a realistic assessment. A Twitter user says that the world needs to do the same if they want to track the coronavirus deaths. Don't trust the Chinese numbers, track the data from mobile phones. The fact is, all telecom companies in China have lost users in this period. A whopping 21 million users who were active before the outbreak have disconnected. 21 million. Where did they go? Does this mean that all these millions of users died due to the Wuhan virus in China? No one can confirm this theory for now. At least we cannot, so we will not hazard that guess. A report in Bloomberg offers some clues. It says that growth has dropped to record lows in China. Factories and businesses were shut due to the outbreak. So migrant workers who operated two connections simply stopped using their work phones and disconnected, which is why 21 million connections have been lost. But the skepticism over the numbers remains. And there are three reasons for it. One, China suppressed the facts during the initial days of the outbreak. It kept changing the figures. The hospitals were overcrowded and they were struggling to deal with new cases. A citizen journalist in Wuhan, Fang Bing, recorded how body bags were piling up inside a hospital. Look at this. There could be several cases that are undocumented. An article in the journal Science claims that 86% of the cases in Hubei were undocumented at the time of the lockdown. Hubei is a province. Wuhan is located inside Hubei. There is another reason why we should not trust China's numbers. Beijing has a track record of fudging figures, especially when it comes to economic numbers. It's a well-known fact that Chinese officials are rewarded with promotions, with bonuses, if their provinces or cities do well on certain metrics, like GDP, like investment and revenues. And to achieve targets, many officials fudge the numbers. So cover-up in the case of the Wuhan coronavirus is not inconceivable. The question is, how much of the horror is China hiding?